Great. Well, thank you, and good afternoon, evening, morning, depending on which part of the world <laughs> you're all you're all situated in. Um, we've got a session now on getting to know Epi Reviewer, um, which is our software for doing systematic reviews. And um, I've got let's move on to the next slide here. I've got an outline here of what we're planning to talk about, which is a very sort of high level introduction to begin with on what Epi Reviewer is and what its functionality is. A little bit on its integration with Archie and Revman, um, and then thinking about some of its um, specific functionality for systematic reviews. So I, I know a lot of people are interested in using machine learning and text mining for citation screening, so um, I've got a little bit on that. Um, then some content on doing quality assessment or data extraction in complex qualitative reviews and what I'm going to concentrate there is on the on what how the software supports that rather than you know what tools should be used because um, <laughs> that could be a whole extra presentation on its own um, and then a little bit on advanced meta-analysis and what we're interested there is is um, interacting with people who are doing different types of analyses because um, the, the options that we can make available are, are quite varied and quite numerous um, and so we really need to figure out what functionality we should expose in, in the user interface um, to support different types of analysis. So that's the rough overview. Um, I'd like to have this as interactive as possible so do please um, <laughs> raise hands or or use the questions as we go and Chris will um, alert me when there are um, questions which might need addressing at particular points during the presentation. Okay, so I'll start now um, just with a high level overview of what the reviewer looks like, uh, a very quick overview. Um, okay, so Epi Reviewer is an online platform for doing systematic reviews and it's actually situated on the, um, the Azure web which is it's just sort of like a Microsoft hosting environment um, and you're, you access it through a web browser as most of you if you've, if you've um, tried it will know. Um, and its functionality it's sort of encompasses the whole of the process of the review from looking after search sources and um, citation screening and full text screening to uploading PDF files, looking after them, characterizing the studies, um, organizing them, enabling us to, to map research activity, and then do data extraction and assess quality and relevance um, and perform risk of bias assessments and that kind of thing. And then finally to do a range of different types of synthesis. So um, we can do meta-analysis, numerical synthesis, we can do sort of syntheses where we organize and bring together findings from studies in different um, from different conceptual themes, for example, and then we can go full out and do thematic analysis, thematic synthesis, where we can use essentially the text of PDF documents as data, and that's one of the things that I'll be covering in a little while. Okay, are there any questions so far? I can't see any questions, so why is time? So I'll keep going for now. The software works in a Silverlight currently, mostly in a Silverlight um, browser plugin, which works on both Macs and PCs. Uh, we're currently working on an HTML front as well, but the Silverlight plugin is where most of the action happens at the moment. And the data sit on the central server, um, and it supports concurrent use. So obviously, yeah, any number of particular review teams can use it all at the same time. Data is saved as we go, so as you click different options, you click different um, inputs, data gets saved up onto the server. Um, and we've got a range of security features which involves encrypting the communication between you when you're logging in, for example. Um, quite, expensive, quite extensive and expensive backup systems um, and error messages are passed back to the, back to the client so that if there are any errors um, you can 
read what they are and also let us know what you see so that we can investigate them. So I'll just pass back to here. Um, yeah, so I, I think what I'm going to cover mostly today then will be looking at this top level here around the screening, the citation screening. Um, we're going to skip over characterizing studies. We'll do a little bit on quality and risk of bias assessment. Um, and then we're going to focus on synthesis, so either the numerical synthesis or the thematic, the conceptual synthesis.